Jackie, and as always, we've invited some science students and enthusiasts to be with us here today. Also, we have two of my incredibly smart friends, Jason Latimer and Tamara Robertson. So today we're talking about conservation of energy, which for all I know means taking naps. <laughs> Conservation of energy is the law that states that the total amount of energy in a closed system is going to remain constant. We could explain a closed system, but it might be more fun just to show you. Absolutely. Would you guys like to see it? Yeah. All right. All right, I'm going to stand over here. Get it out of the way. All right. In a closed system like this bowling ball and the wire it's suspended from, energy remains constant. And when the ball is released, it can't get any higher than it started. It can't add energy. Therefore, it can't hit me. I can place this bowling ball up to my face, and I can let go. <laughs> Pretty cool, but perfectly safe. And Johnny, you're next. Yeah, no. <laughs> I don't blame you. Conservation of energy can be pretty destructive. Don't believe me? <laughs> Take a look at this. We set up our hidden cameras at an art gallery. Now the hatred is there. No, no! Matt is playing the talented but eccentric artist. Tamara's playing the gallery curator. And Jason's working alongside our unsuspecting gallery employees, Dale and Angela, who think they've been hired to help set up the exhibit. So we're telling a story. It's a narrative, right? So do you want us to rearrange them? I want you to feel. Mm -hmm. This experiment is going to cause an art attack. You guys have your gloves on, right? Our artist, Matt, requires that no hands actually touches art. And your name it's again? Hi, I'm Dale. Dale, I'm yeah. Tamara. Matt is back from an artist residency. He was down at the prestigious Sinton School for the last three years. Wow. He is actually debuting his piece, Consequence, which is the largest piece in the room. To start out, what I would like you guys to do is to set up the Mona Pizza. It has eight total canvases, and he will be coming by at some point. He always likes to come by a little early, check everything out. If you have any questions, I'll be back in a little bit to check on you. Okay. What do you think about art? I love art. I hope we're putting it up the right way. I mean, as the artist, he probably wants it in a certain way. I'm definitely, like, all into abstract art. This looks pretty abstract. <laughs> yeah, I think this is abstract art. <laughs> that would be the definition of this. I guess this goes here. I mean, some of them are horizontal, some of them are vertical. Hello. You're him. Matthew. Yes, I'm the artist. Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you as I'm well. Angela. Very nice to meet you, Angela. Pleasure. Pleasure. Loving the art. Well, let me know if there's anything I can help you adjust your gallery. I'm feeling sort of uh, destruction, and instead I wanted sheer and utter madness. OK, um, what would you, how can I help you? Well, let me walk this back a little bit. What the f did you guys do? Uh, let me ask you first instinct, top right, what do you see? Don't be afraid I to dream. kind of see a person in the distance. Mm-hmm. And what's that person doing? Hiding. He's dying. Yeah, I can see it. When you look at that piece, not you, I'm talking to him. When you look at that piece, what does it tell you? That he's just, he's not balanced. That's exactly it. Yeah. It's unbalanced. Tamara, she, she told us to put the remaining pieces up. Tamara. Uh, oh, Tamara's the small idiot, right? Uh, I think the first thing that we need to do is we need to change the energy immediately in this room. And what I really want to see is pure and utter rage. I think the energy's already better. So do me a favor and go over there and grab that one, if you will. And I want you to switch with him. 
Maybe we need to flip that energy upside down. Exactly. Matthew. That's exactly what I wanted, Dale. Now, the unbalanced soldier, i.e. the unbalanced kid in his room alone all day with no one to play with is right where he's supposed to be. <clears throat> it's perfect. It's right where it's supposed to be. So you're happy. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Night job. <laughs> Um, so if you come with me, Dale, we're going to start prepping the actual exhibit. We have a few pieces that we sold prior to opening. If you'll just mark them, actually you'll see on the name tags as sold. Okay, um, you just want me to put sold on them, yeah? Sold. Thank you, guys. And again, if Matthew comes in, just smiles. This is his night. <laughs> this stuff is insane. I'll take a picture of you right here. You got the little glow behind you. You can go like this in a second. You can line it up with the globe. Smile. One. To touch, touch the dot, if you would. Just push on the dot. There you go. Perfect. Move around. Oh, jeez. Oh, 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 He's gonna kill us. He's gonna kill us. What did gonna you do? Me? <laughs> this is not good. Oh my god, what was that? Oh uh, my, how did this happen? I don't really know. Something fell and it literally just hit everything. Just, I was just here to take a picture. And then it's like, it was like. It's a little hot. It was almost like, it was just like. I think it just expanded somehow. Set up perfectly like dominoes. And the ball this, fell off. The, the ball just dropped and then it just like. You know, it's all a little hazy right now. It all just like came down. He bumped into that. No, he I. It, ricocheted everything. Oh I don't, my. No, I don't think I actually. It just, it fell. Oh my God, Matt is gonna freak out. You guys have got to get this up. It's crazy. Okay, guys, come on. Matt will be back any minute. I remember uh, like little kids in the front. Like it's just so much stuff. I just don't want him to walk in here, I'll die. Just tape, I think we could just tape it and. The energy just, it really unleashed here, Matthew. The ball fell off the top of that, and then it was like this. You know how you were talking about that rage? You were right. Do you mind if I cry, gentlemen? <laughs> I spend my whole life trying to build, and this is what I get. A bunch of shattered Legos. <laughs> I gotta get a drink. We have some water. I don't need water. Because none of it matters. The only thing I want you to do, Dale, is keep the rage alive in this room. Keep the dysfunction flowing. All right. Okay, so should we like, what do we do? Do we go? I don't know what the f is going on, man. Okay. So... I think he's okay with this rage stuff. It's hope, helping him cope with his childhood stuff. I think we should go. I don't think we should be here. We should go? I mean, why would we stay? We have to stay. And do what? We're on a TV show and we have a schedule. Huh? You're on a TV show. I'm on a TV show. <laughs> Because I thought I was going to get fired and never <laughs> be able to work again. It was like, I can't believe I ruined this guy's life. I'm with her, man. I would have been taillights as soon as that first bowling ball started to move. I would have been out of there. <laughs>
This was one of those moments though that you kind of feel bad because Dale was convinced he was never gonna get to work in LA again. Like he was like, <laughs> I really wanted to get in this world. And as we do, we shattered his dreams. It, we, uh... <laughs> well, I'm just gonna say what everybody's thinking. That art was terrible. <laughs> And you're probably worse. also wondering where's the conservation of energy. All that art was actually curated to form a perfect Rube Goldberg machine. So those are the machines that have all the crazy chain reactions. It's a silly name, but a cool contraption. Basically, one leads to another, one leads to another one. <laughs> it's pretty exciting. We had a feeling you wouldn't want to be part of the bowling ball demonstration. So what we figured we would do is get you a stand-in. Do you want to meet Johnny Pignotti? I, I'm a vision in purple. Look at that. I have so many questions and I want none of the answers. In the name of science, can I have a little drum roll, please? Yep. <laughs> I admit it, I cheated. Instead of dropping, I pushed the ball. And that little push added energy to the system. And therefore, Johnny Pignotti took one for the team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes being a team player can hurt. Skateboard delivery can be fast. <laughs> but it can also be disastrous. Don't think he's gonna try that again. 